All right, all you strongmen out there, guess what? I have Martins, Lisi's here, and I have Juji. Yeah, right in the frame, man. Oh, you're in, all right, yeah. man. Come on, we're all in the frame now. I'm shy. <laughs> we're all together. This is not like a virtual conference. We're no, having. this is <laughs> this is real. These are real people. I have, fr I have friends. Wait, dude, this is like poking me over here. <laughs> uh, no, so this is the deal, guys. As you know, I've been having pain uh, in my hip, specifically on the deadlift. All the other lifts are okay. That was the worst for me too. That's wild. But yeah. the crazy part is, is him and I are thinking that we have something similar That's, going on here. The, 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 everything you described is so. It, it's pretty much everything <laughs> I feel. I'm like I've never met anyone else that has yeah. the same thing. So it's unreal. So we're gonna come together. So am I fixing you both today or what? I am blown <laughs> away to hear that he. Damn! I was only gonna fix one person. I well, the same. You know, charge extra for two. Yeah. It's wild. So there's gonna be a ton of valuable information because between Juji Martins. We're going to get some drills that can help uh, better my hip and probably Martine's hip, hopefully, mm. uh, so that we're able to squat because that's what we have coming up, right? We're doing yeah, some squats. That's right. So all you guys, especially you strong men who think you don't need to do these drills, you don't need to be stretching, mobility stuff. You guys are a bunch of idiots out there. Martine's <laughs> going to tell you you're an idiot. Juju's going to tell you you're an idiot. And then that's why we're here because we need to get better. We need to get stronger. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. So Juju's going to take the wheel on this one. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> He's going to give us our first tip. Right, so I... Hey, shut up! Well, I'm just kidding. All right, so I've never had hip pain. That's the thing. That's amazing. I don't even know what it feels like. That's amazing, wow. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so maybe I'm doing something right. Maybe. And that's why you're here. Right, so I'm going to tell you what I think is uh, helping me not have hip pain. And it's because I have a uh, long history of doing uh, martial arts and acrobatics. And one of the exercises that we've always done is... This front, front lifting. Interesting. So, okay. how much? Well, physical therapy was long to do that too. So, what really? Yeah. Like really? I, like yeah, I yeah, need yeah. to strengthen my hip flexors and right. my glutes to fire together with the hip flexor and the glute in the back for stabilization. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So cool. I'm glad that maybe I'm not full of shit. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, right off the bat. But think about this. This movement isn't something that like bodybuilders train, like lifting up the knee directly yeah. against force. It's not something a lot of athletes train as. So, so there's different variations of this you could probably do with weight if you wanted to. Like you can hook like a dumbbell or something up your foot or like yeah. heavy ankle. But all I've done is just like a lot of reps of a front lift stretch is just, you know, this is how you start with it. Yeah. You know, it's just like, it's stretching. Okay. So you so, stretch and lift, okay. Yeah. So how many reps do you do? Like just? Uh, like uh, 20 to 30 with each leg. Okay. 20 yeah. to 30. 20 to 30 in any uh, rep set scheme you want. So typically I so recommend- just get to 20 and 30 total. Yeah, 20 or 30 total of each leg. You I can like do this it. before your workout, it's fine. Yeah, that's so it. Just straight leg kicking up. Yeah, and so you-, you And that's another thing they were suggesting. What? Before my deadlifts, they told me just to go like this. The, the thing with me is I was super athletic when I got into strongman, and then I wanted to get really strong. So I stopped doing a lot of athletic stuff to right. get really strong. And then I started having these problems arise because these problems were never an issue. The problem I had before was I just wasn't strong. Right. Now the problem is I'm getting pain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Go around the whole thing. How many yeah. have you done? This is 10. 10? Now you, you could rest a second so you can actually try to kick higher. You okay. Because I, mean? I mean, you can do that all day long, but then you can Whoa. You know, right. start to increase the. Definitely the master. You no, know, this is what martial arts was. It was. All sorts of. But I used to do that too. Kicks. I used to do martial arts all the time. Yeah. And I didn't have any problems. Any problems with what? Just like joint pain or flexibility. No, yeah, yeah. So it's interesting that it's kind of funny how things go full circle and mm -hmm. you find yourself going back to the things in the past. Yeah. So we'll call being young. <laughs> so, so just do like a front lift stretch, like 20 to 30 reps That's each leg. So cool. Any set rep scheme you want. Maybe like, I don't know, five sets of five with each leg with a minute Guys, in between. I, I like. It's good. Give this a thumbs up. Like this is all the stuff that my physical therapist is telling me to do more of. Nice. So this is on point. You can do this before your workout because the dynamic stretches, Martins, doesn't reduce like strength yeah, or turn off. Sense. It's not inhibitory. You know what I mean? That's what they told me too. So this is good because we're, we're squatting. You're on to something, Juju. <laughs> the best time to do these stretches is sometimes right in the morning, and it kind of resets your flexibility for the rest of the day as well. So it's good to do these in the morning, but also it gets your heart rate up, like you said. So it could be a form of cardio. We used to Sam smiling behind the camera. What are you laughing at? This it's just a uh, very large men uh, walking around in circles, <laughs> kicking really their fun. legs. It's actually really fun. <laughs> it's like a, a weird like Christmas motif. Romantic. 
sick. Like, like I want them to like fall in love with stretching, but not fall in love. But then I, we I, need I want to drama. Add I want Martin. We need a love triangle going yeah. on. And then Martins tries to come and sweep him off yeah. the floor yeah, with a new it. stretch. It's like the modern a day Romeo stretch? and Juliet. No, not a nude stretch. A new stretch. This is a PG channel, guys. Or an OnlyFan channel, link in bio. Wait, we're going on to part two, right? Yeah, part two now. We're going to just keep some of that <laughs> for the only file for me to watch. We're going to want a sturdy ground. Oh, this isn't going to work? No, it'll be very difficult on this. Okay, let's transfer over to sturdy ground. Let's go. Just first starting off with a... So the whole purpose of a hip airplane, I mean, it's to, full, to like truly like activate the glutes, the adductors, and the adductors all in one while also working hip mobility, opening and closing the hip. I learned this from Aaron Horschig in Squat University. Okay, gotcha. This is one that I really go to. Now, if you're new, I would suggest holding on to something because it's really difficult. But the idea is basically really ground your foot, making sure that you, like as uh, Squat University says, tripod foot, feel pressure right here, here, and then the heel. Then you gotta really straighten that leg out. Get nice and deep until you feel a stretch in the hamstring. Then you wanna Whoa. open the hip as much as it'll go. That's actually really good, You're Martin. making this Give a, a really little pause. Easy. Yeah, this is harder than it looks, guys. But then the hardest part is also keeping that back leg straight because you're gonna to wanna to bend it like so. But you gotta squeeze that back loop. Then here also, very important to get as deep as you can. I'm trying to basically touch my knee with my left hip, and placing stretch and my outside hip here. Then from here, I try to activate and abduct, pushing the floor away as I rotate outwards, stretch my adductors. How are you standing on one foot that long? And then I return. You want to do five to 10 reps. So this slow? Slow, yeah, the slow This is the hard, man. You haven't touched anything. I feel like most of the viewers are gonna need to hold on to something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is one of my programs, you know, and it's good to hear him, you know, give more information yeah, yeah. about it because even if you're prescribing exercises it doesn't mean you know you really know everything about it but i can tell you right now what you just did is really impressive like i'm not gonna be that, able to thank do that. you yeah that's really hard i mean let me try i fucking hate this exercise it's horrible it, but it's it, really annoying it's my go-to there you go yeah go deep until you feel a stretch in that hamstring well that's hard for me yeah but Open, feeling foot grounded, that's it. Oh, See, I already fell over. See, yeah, yeah. I try not to. It's not like I'm just doing that to make it That's why in better. the beginning, it's like it helps to hold on to something. Like, yeah, I mean, it's. I understand it's a good exercise, but what you just did was really impressive in an annoying way. Oh, I'm, I'm actually going to grab something and hold <laughs> on to it. So we'll come over here. That way, I'll show the viewers basically. So you want to grab onto something like yeah, this, so right? Just hold something. Yeah. Okay, so I'm on this yeah. foot. It, it took me months, many months to actually let go so of something stationary. Leaning forward, just so like completely this. Completely lock this leg out. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. You feel that? Yeah. Now I have you done this stretch. If you come around with the I, camera, I have done this. you can yeah. see what's yeah. working here. This, okay. this, this, this right here. And I'm trying to be squeezing. Up. There you go. That's to try to get open as much as open as you can until you feel oh. stretching your adductor and your right adductor. Okay, now I feel it. I'm Good. This, this leg. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Hold it for a second, then come down. Get as deep as you can. Now you're going to try to feel a stretch on the outside of the leg here. Oh. So this is important because in strongman, our abductors get really strong. We get strong external rotators in our legs. I feel, this, weak. I feel weak in here. That's my point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, that will throw things. That's what I was saying with, uh, I think what Joey's going through is an obturator externus. Uh, hipping that, uh, that those external rotators are so overworked and they're not balanced with strong internal rotators so the obturator externus will get inflamed and it'll pinch the obturator nerve which creates this uh, really intense kind of um, pain sensation close to your taint <laughs> that's what's going on. Like, really intense pain sensation close to your taint. That's what it feels like. Well, it feels like someone's driving a pole straight up my, through my butt cheek into mm -hmm. yeah my, my taint driving a pole straight up your butt cheek into, into your, your taint, taint. Yeah. quote joey yeah. wow this is a, but this is, these are medical comments guys these are medical terms look at the uh, anatomy <laughs> so the obturator externus goes from here right to the, through this hole right right there <laughs> and that's what, the, which hole martins so this hole right here right okay, in the back yeah right in the back, it basically helps um open your legs and get you ready for whatever you're doing 
So the thing is, when this muscle gets uh, inflamed, it'll, it'll push out against this uh, orifice right in there, and then that creates that pain. That's close to where you feel it, isn't it? Yeah, I feel it right there. Yeah. That's so, where I feel it. So this is overworked, and you need to work more here. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, science, guys. Don, you have peanut butter on your nose. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I get, I get. So I think you kind of hit the nail on the head there. And uh, I got to just do more airplanes and more, I guess, adductor work and unilateral work. Martins, do you do unilateral work for this? Besides this? Yes. So like, what, what would be like another exercise you would do unilaterally that I can incorporate? Uh, pistol squats, single leg hip bridges, very important. Okay. Uh, you could either do them on a bench. Uh, they're basic yeah, yeah, as hell, yeah. but you do 10 second hold on the top. That's so ISO hold. The hold is very important, yeah. Yeah. Because you want to teach your hip to stabilize in that. You know how like you have a tough time coming through here? That's where the pain is. Exactly. So yeah. you want to teach uh, uh, your glutes to really squeeze and then your adductors and uh, abductors or adductors and abductors to help stabilize the knee and not twist out any which way. Okay. So you draw straight past the force and then hold that tension. And then so during your program, right, like say you have a deadlift day or whatever, how do you factor this stuff in when you're training? Like is uh, it the beginning, before? So bef in the beginning I just do some activations. Okay. And afterwards I like will exhaust those stabilizers. Okay. So like I'll, the, the, I'll do a warm up which is shorter, maybe 30 minutes an hour, and then afterwards Another 30 minutes an hour of really pushing. Okay, right. guys, there we go. We got leg kicks. Is that what they were? Yeah. Leg kicks from Juji. <laughs> leg kicks. Is, is that what? It's a front lift stretch, but I like leg kicks. Front lift stretch. Front lift stretch. Front yeah. lift stretch. Mm. Would you would you add anything more to that, or just stay with that? If, if we're just keeping with the context of uh, hip pain, just stay with that. Stay with that. All right. Yeah. We got the hip airplane, and then we got some bridging, some single leg. I would also suggest a bilateral bridging as well. Okay. With uh, like a Swiss ball that you have to squeeze. So the, the Swiss ball, especially because you want to basically squeeze to about the same width that your knees are going to be in a deadlift and then hold the adduction yeah. as you bridge through. Yeah, I mean, it was night and day. Like, I, I wasn't feeling really much on the outside. It was all in here feeling super yeah. unstable doing the, the airplane. Well, I'm glad I can skip all these exercises and just keep doing front lifts since I've never had any <laughs> yeah. in my life. So <laughs> Yeah, you, just get yeah, you guys are good. Cool. Yeah. So anyways, guys, now we got a squat workout coming up. Uh, so he's going to just crush that and I'm going to try to just be a part of it and watch him do crazy things. So real quick, where can they find you? Uh, you guys can find me on Instagram, Martin Slitis, that's M-A-R-T-I-N-S-L-I-C-I-S, or the same thing on YouTube. And then we have Juji over here. Juji, uh -huh. talk, but like you're here, but you're not. So, just give the video, Joey. Okay, so go follow Juji because you know where he's at. <laughs>